Okay, we're going to get rid of the 7. When we're solving for an OR inequality, we want to solve both inequalities on their own, and then we just graph the solutions together. So that, like I heard, we're going to get rid of the 7 first. Because this is pretty simplified, we have an x here, constant, constant. So this is a point where we want to get the constants together. 5x is less than 20. What's our next step? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. That's going to get our x by itself. We're dividing by a positive number, so we don't have to do anything to the symbol. x is less than 4. Is that in the right order? Yes. So that one's done. It's just sitting there waiting for us to finish the other one so we can graph them together. What should be my first step on the second one? I'm going to get rid of the 3 or subtract it from both sides. I get negative 4x is greater than 8. What am I dividing by? Negative 4. What does that mean for my symbol? Flip I always do it first so I don't forget. As soon as I write that I'm dividing or multiplying by a negative, flip the symbol before you do the rest of the math. That leaves us with x. 8 divided by negative 4 gives us negative, negative 2. And this is an OR. So when you finish, I like to write the OR in between and show that they go together. Those are my solutions. Oh, I love this as an example because it's going to do something we haven't seen yet. I've got 4. I have negative 2. What do you see is happening with both of the symbols? They're not this time. They're both a less than symbol. Do you see that? So if I do the negative 2 first, it's going to the left. If I do the x, uh, the 4, the x also goes to the left. So this or inequality crosses over the other. It's a rare or inequality, but it does happen. Usually, they go opposite directions. Occasionally, they both go the same direction. For this inequality, does negative 2 work? Is negative 2 less than 4? Yes. And in this one, x is less than negative 2. So for this inequality, the negative 2 doesn't count. But for this one, it does. And so because these are combined, it's really anything less than 4 makes both inequalities true, except the negative 2 only works for this one. It's kind of a rare one, but they happen. So I like that that was an example. Okay, I would like you guys to try this or inequality on your own, and then we will compare to my work. I'm sorry, I didn't write the negative. That's a negative 3x plus 2 is greater than negative 7. Or 2 distributed to x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 6. I just got a text message. I'm scheduled to be inducted tonight at 7.40. I might not be here tomorrow. I might, I might be meeting my grandson tomorrow. Yay. Ooh, we'll see. Excited. My son and his wife have been married over 11 years. Did I tell you guys that? Yeah. Like that's their wedding picture above the sink on the right from 2008. We have been waiting for a grandchild for a very long time. Huh? What if they took that down? <laughs> what if, they, I know, right? How rude that would have been if they took my family photos down. They took down some cool artwork kids have given me. Anyway, don't get me started. And I'm still recording.